And hello and welcome to part number 20 of my Let's Play of Planet Zoo. Okay, so in this part we're primarily going to be taking care of the flamingo situation. And we are going to be moving them over in this general vicinity that I created with the pathways. The flamingos are going to be going right over here. Right here, guys. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and grab some barrier here. And we're going to grab the wood logs, because that's, of course, what we've been using pretty much everywhere throughout the entire zoo. Oops. I'm going to have this go right through there. And I know I could technically put a null barrier here, but I'd honestly rather have a real barrier in front of this. Rather than have that with the windows <laughs> and everything be the barrier. You know what I mean? Yeah, you probably do know what I mean if you guys are paying any attention here. Okay. Let's see now. I'm gonna drag this bit out here. There we go. I want to give them a lot of space compared to what they've got now, because right now they don't have very much room compared to how many of them there are. Because there's a lot of them. There's over 40. And I don't want my flock to shrink. I want my flock to be able to keep growing. And in order for that to happen, we've kind of got to make more room for everybody. Because they're getting a wee bit crowded, and that's no good. Okay, let's put that there. And then this path can go here. This barrier, rather, along the path is what I meant. Erp. Back here behind the reptile area. There we go. That should be plenty of room for them. Yeah, that might actually be a bit excessive. Depending on how many of them we have. But... Hmm. Because I don't want to have just flamingos in this area, guys. I want to have more than just them. So, let's see. Let's keep building the fence for now. And then I will be splitting this habitat area that I'm building here in half from what I was originally going to do. So that I will be able to go ahead and keep going with this and have more than just the flamingos in here. Because otherwise this habitat is going to be giant. Which is fine, but I don't want a giant habitat for the flamingos. I don't want to have a flock of 500. <laughs> I just want to have a flock of like maybe at most 50 or 60. Just because that's... I don't know, that seems like a good number to me. It's a very high number, but it's also low enough compared to the number that you can have that it's not absolutely mental. Plus, once they hit about 60 years old, they'll all start dying on me anyway. So... We've got another, like, 40 years for that, though. Before that starts happening with pretty much any of them. There we go... So, yeah, I'm just building a big wall here around this nice tall barrier. And then I'm going to be shrinking it. Well, not shrinking it, but you guys know what I mean. I'll be making it into a second habitat rather than just one enormous one. And what will live there? I don't have a clue. But I did buy some bongos and okapis. Because I want to put one of those species in where the flamingos are right now after I revitalize their habitat. And I'm not sure which one I want to put in yet. Whichever one requires the least amount of space is the one I'm going to go with, though. So once I've figured that out, we will see. Come on, there we go. So right here is going to be the main flamingo area, and then something's going to go next to the flamingos. Come on! Really? Darn thing. It's being rude on me, guys. It's being rude. Rude and shrewd. There we are. 
Okay, now let's put one right here in the corner. Excellent. And I apologize for the fact that it's currently dark in the game. I usually wait until it's daylight to film, like daylight in-game to film. But I really needed to get this done right now. So I uh, am doing this while it's still dark. Sorry about that. Hope you're all cool with it. Oops. Come on. Uh, there we go. Why is that not working? There we go. Come on. Now you go there. There we go. Okay, edit the barrier. Edit that piece and that piece to be one-way glass. And have both of them be on that side. And then we'll do the same here. Do 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 Oops. There we go. And now to figure out where to split this in half because it's giant. This is giant! Let's split it right about here. I love this music. It's so soothing. Isn't it Phil? It is. He says so. <laughs> and he's a cat, so he should know. Because all cats are most wisest. Just ask them. They'll tell you. Oops, not what I meant to do. Ah, no! Stop it. Click on that. Click on this. There we go. There we are. Okay, this will be our flamingos right here. And then this is going to be something else. I'm not sure what, though. But we will figure that out. And then let's have this piece and this piece be one-way glass and then switch which side is which so that it can be seen through by the guests but not the flamingos because the poor things get really shy if they're just surrounded by guests all the time like they have been now let's put in habitat gates let's put in wooden ones because this is wood There we go, to get into the flamingos, it's right there, and then to get into whatever this is gonna be, we'll put that right there. There, perfect. Now we can actually check and see how big they are. Because I'm quite curious. Let's find out. 2,840. That will be perfect for our flamingos. It's gonna be so much bigger. And then this is 3,664. See, I told you guys, that would have been ludicrous. <laughs> would have been absolutely ludicrous. But what should go next to the flamingos? I don't know. I don't want my bongos or my okapis to go next to them. I want something else to. I don't know what though. But let's see. Let's check here for a male Thompson's gazelle because I got rid of mine because he couldn't breed with any of the females. So, I need a new one. But, let's see. What could I put there? Maybe... Mm, next to flamingos. Philip, stop it. Phil, get down. Good boy. Sorry about that, guys. My cat is being naughty. Hmm. Pygmy hippos, maybe? Ooh, okay. That one's 30 years old already, jeez. Okay, you're terrible. You're less terrible. You're just as bad, almost. A little bit better, I think. What about you? You're okay, I guess. Your longevity's crappy, though. You're like the only male that's a decent price, though, because you're from... Oh, from Anamelia, apparently. Okay, whatever that is. 
Okay, I bought a male who's like four years old. And then let's get her. And then this female is pretty expensive. Let's see, what about you? You're okay. I'll get you. Yay! Now let's check the Zoopedia and find out about them, because I don't know anything about them. Okay, please tell me they live in groups. Okay, one male, three females at most. Okay, good. Well, that's interesting that they're monogamous in captivity. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll learn more about them later. For now, let's put in our flamingos. Let's get these poor darlings all settled. Okay, sculpting, push.
All right, guys, so it looks like we're almost done with the flamingo move. And they're starting to arrive in their new habitat. Let's see what they all think of it. Oh yeah, I know. The keeper can't reach it because it's not currently in a work zone. Well, let me fix that real quick. Okay, here we go. Edit the work zone. Add in... That thing. That thing. The flamingos. And whatever the heck that's gonna be. Okay. Great. Now that there's keepers assigned to that, we should be okay. One of my Nile monitors is about to have offspring. Wait a minute, that's not good. That's inbreeding, I think. Aren't you the child of them? Oh no, I never got rid of you. Oh no, you made it with your own father! <laughs> oh god, why? Oh no, but at least it's light out now. She mated with her own father and made babies. That, oh no, that is disgusting. That poor, poor bloodline. Oh well, there's nothing I can do now. Alright guys, what do you think? Your mate is being carried, I know. Okay, so... There's not enough sand. Oh, less sand. Got it. Needs more rock. Okay. Painting. More rock. Do 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 do. That was easy. Okay, less sand though. And we need more grass, perhaps? Okay. There we go. I think that's good. No, not yet. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let's make this a little bit bigger so that it'll go under here. And get rid of more of the sand. Come on, go down to like three or four, please. Or five, that works too, I guess. Oh, hi, Eric. You gonna help? Okay, be a good helper. Okay. There we go. Now we don't have enough soil, though. Which is a bit of a problem. There we go. Now we're good. Okay, the terrain is perfect. There's loads of room now. And... You don't like the foxtail palm. Where is it? This isn't a- there isn't one in your habitat. That wasn't in their habitat! They can keep it! <laughs> That's so silly. Oh my god. Temperate, tropical, aquatic, grassland. Okay, they require less plant coverage. Okay, fine. Okay. I really, really like the way this looks, though. So, I think I'm just going to get rid of some of the trees. Okay. Yeah, they're tired of some of their other enrichment items, but they've only got four. That's all theirs is available in the game. So, I think I can be forgiven for giving them that. Let's see, is that little enough plant matter for you now? Or is that close enough now? No, you still have way too much coverage for your liking. Well, that's too bad, because I like it! Oh well. <laughs> that's fine. We'll make it so that they like it, because that's the important part. It's their home, and therefore it's my job to make sure it looks good for them, and that they like it. Now are you good? No. Okay. Let's move this a little bit more this way. And honestly, I really like the amount of plants in here. So I'm just going to leave the rest of it. They can deal with it. They can deal. Well, except maybe this tree. I'll get rid of that tree. And maybe this fern. Hopefully they're happy now. 
Eric, don't turn off the light, please. <laughs> Less plant and tree coverage. Okay. What if I get rid of some of the reeds? Will that help? Did that help? That helped a lot. Okay, good. Let's get rid of some of the reeds that are back here. There we go. It looks so much more barren now. I don't like it very much, but if the flamingos are happier, that's the important part. Just got to remember that. They've got like three trees. I don't understand why they're mad. <laughs> well, they had four trees, but yeah. How's this now? Oh my god. We're getting there. Eventually we will be there. Eventually. You happy and you know it be a flamingo? Okay, it looks like I need to get rid of like 2% more plant matter. So bye bye to you because you looked kind of weird anyway. And other than that, I'm going to maybe get rid of this one. And just leave everything else. Is that good now? No! What do you mean, no? They really don't like having that palm tree near them. They really don't like it. Okay, well, it says it's all appropriate now and it's close enough, so I'm not going to get rid of anything else because I like the way it looks, dagnabbit. <laughs> I like having so much stuff in here, but they didn't like it as planted as I did, so oh well. Okay, greater flamingo. Greater flamingo. Do, 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 do. Where is the other sign? Here it is. Greater flamingo. They are coming in, guys. They are coming in. Greater Flamingo. Awesomeness. Okay. And let's get a speaker thing over here. And let's unpause it so that they can continue to bring the other flamingos over. Inspector arriving in 13 months! Cue the panic! Let's turn this on for the flamingos. And make it go like that. There we go. Perfect! So now if they're standing anywhere near here, they'll hear about the flamingos. That's good. Okay. Now let's go over this way and see if we can get everybody else out of here. The caretakers are busy getting everybody over in the right exhibit. The right habitat, rather. Okay, I know you hate being in boxes, guys. I'm sorry. But your move is scheduled, so you should be okay soon. Let's move you. Seriously, why are my peafowls inbreeding so much? I don't understand. They didn't used to do that, as far as I'm aware. Why are you going to mate with your own father when there's other males here that you're not related to? I don't understand! Oh well, let's watch him flare. Flare up, flare up, flare your feathers, buddy! Oh my god. Oh my god. Dang! I'm getting a screenshot of this because DANG! Wow. That is pretty. That is so pretty. Okay. Screenshot! Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love it. Okay. So, you're an idiot and trying to breed with your own child, but other than that, you're very beautiful at least. <laughs> you're not smart, but you're beautiful. Okay, good. My flamingo army is moving! We are moving the flamingo fam! And let's make sure that the keepers get their butts over here and put lots of food down. 
Okay, and they have no excuse not to feed the flamingos now because there's literally a keeper hut right next door to the exhibit. So, we should be good. Is it not scheduled for you guys to move yet? Okay, move you. Move you. Move you. Move you. Okay. Move you. And move you. Run, my minions! Run! <gasps> the bear had babies! My bear had babies, guys! How many babies did the bear have? Let's see. I see one cub, two cubs. Did she have two cubs? It looks like she had three cubs, actually. Two males and one female. Awesome. That's wonderful. Yay! Where's the third cub, though? Oh, there it is. It's right over there. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. Oh, your silver ranking. Your silver. Please be gold. Yay! He's gold. He's my favorite now. <laughs> Just because he's the gold ranked one. <laughs> oh, dear. In all seriousness, though, that was awesome. Okay. Can't believe they had babies already. That's so good. So good! Okay. Now, speaking of having babies... The flamingos are the are the masters of that. They are the experts. They have all the babies. And I mean all the babies. Okay, the caretakers are still running back and forth delivering flamingos. Okay. Is there anyone else who hasn't been scheduled to be moved yet? You have not. Oh no, Selma is about to die of old age. My lion. I'm losing all my lionesses now, guys. This is heartbreaking. Speaking of, I moved in a new female lion because of all the deaths of the other ones. Let's see, I think this is the last of the flamingos that need to be moved. Come on, let me click on you. Let me make sure you're gonna move. Let's be with Selma. As she passes. Oh, Selma. I'm so sorry you're gonna pass, but... Okay, who's in a box? Who's in a box? It says she died, but... She's not dead. Unbox you. Unbox my cub. Rest in peace, Selma. Thank you for all the cubs you've given me. How many cubs has she had? Yeah, I think four. Yeah, because one of them I gave away somewhere else. Oh, Selma. This is sad. Oh. <sighs> Goodbye, Selma. No. Ooh. That sounded bad. Let's call the vet. I can't believe how long Shaka lived, though. Because Shaka made it to, like, 19 and a half. Which was pretty impressive. Okay, we need to keep crime below four incidents for three months. Okay, I think we can do that. Vet research is complete. Ooh, we learned more about the black bears and the gharial. Good. And my baby aardvark is about to mature. Oh my goodness. So much is happening. So much is happening. Okay, let's make sure the last of the flamingos get out of here. Let's make sure all the flamingos get moved over. To their new house. 
Okay, these guys aren't scheduled to be moved? Surely they are. You are. You are. You are. You're not. That's weird. Okay. What about you? You're not. But you're gonna move back here. Okay. Go! There's a bunch of flamingo food everywhere. That's funny. There's flamingo food all over the ground. Come on, caretakers, you can do it! I know Selma just died and it was tragic. Okay, come on. Let's move everybody out. Because when the inspector arrives, I want the flamingos to get a flying colors rating. What? My ring-tailed lemur died! Oh no! Uh, Mayali! No! Mayali, my love, you're so cute! You can't die! It's not allowed! Oh my god! My poor little lemur. How many of them are there? She gave birth twice, so that's good. Oh. Sounded like she's having a hairball? Oh, god. And she just keels over. Rest in peace, Miali. So, it looks like I need more lemurs, but I'm really low on conservation credits. Ugh. Let's look for ring-tailed lemurs. Oops, quit going past them. There we go. Oh goodness, they're all males. Of course they're all males. And the one male who's worth anything, like who's worth a little more actually, is super, super, super expensive for some reason. Because of course he is. Boy. Aw, my aardvark is about to grow up. Wait a minute, have they not been having good meals because I didn't set their thing to be as high as it can be? Yeah, they haven't. Oops. Sorry, guys! What about you? Are you good? Yeah, they're good. Okay, let's set them to three on the flamingos. There we go. We've got 36 of them in there so far. We just need the last few to move over. And then as soon as that baby aardvark grows up, we need to trade him out of the zoo. Okay, guys. The flamingos are all swimming over there, so they'll be good. Let's call the keeper to the habitat. Yes, your workload is high, and I apologize for that, but we all have work to do, you know. Okay. Is everyone out of there now? There's just one more, and you are scheduled to be moved. Okay, good. Everybody's out soon. We just need one more caretaker to grab him. He's been grabbed. Okay, good. Uh, okay, good. Once they're all out of here, then we can repurpose this habitat for another species. Do, 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 do. Yay, they're leaving. The very last flamingo is getting out of there. Okay, good. I know, there's incorrectly placed education stuff. Nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. None. Calm down, thingy. <laughs> What's happening with the greater flamingo's habitat? The animals are all boxed! Uh, I'm moving it. No concern of yours, it'll be okay, I promise. There's a little bit of change going on here, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. Why is it trying to go to some other random animal? Okay, there we go. Okay. So, let's get this flattened out here. 
Now that everybody's out of here, let us find the flattened surface, I think? Flattened foundation, that's it. Okay. Okay. There we go. There. Perfect. Now we just need a keeper to clean up this random bit of food. How do you do that? I don't know. Oh well. But in the next part we are going to be changing this over to a different animal. And... I'm going to just call it SSS for this, for this exact second. Let's check and see which one needs more space. The bongos, or the, really, they're all feet, they're all males. <laughs> okay. The bongo or the okapi need more space. Doo -doo. 240. Okay. And the okapis, how much do they need? Let's see. The Okapis. Oh, they need way more. So we'll put the bongos in here. Bongos. But yeah, I will be seeing all of you in the next one, you guys. Have fun over on the end screen. Alright, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Raylunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 